Hey, what's up there, people of the internet? Today, we're gonna take a look at some new moves that have been added to Ben 10 Arrival of Aliens. Let's go to the intro and then take a quick look. Let's go. All right, welcome back. So we're actually gonna take a look if uh, everything goes to plan here. Give me a second, I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back to the actual game. So today, we're gonna take a look at some new moves that have been added to arrival of aliens get up let's get off our little hoverboard so I, I i'm actually in a server where every new model works like can you that that doesn't happen a lot so here's feedback um he doesn't have any moves yet like he's just his walking animation jumping animation what has been added though is when you revert back to your actual form you'll dab so <laughs> that's pretty cool i guess um no i actually really like the dab i don't know it's it's something yeah, but yeah, Feedback is a pretty cool character, and I'm glad they added something to his um, his thingy. Hold up, give me some. All right, we're back. Um, <clears throat> okay, so after that, let's take a quick look at Swampfire. For him, still the same. He just jumps, uh, doesn't do a lot, except he dabs as well. Yeah, um, a lot of dabbing on the new characters, but I don't know. I thought it was it's a funny thing. I watched the stream where he actually modeled that stuff, so um, it's pretty interesting to see it actually come alive in the game. So yeah, that's uh, that's quite fun. So let's take a quick look at. Hold up, I'm gonna turn up the sounds real quick. I think it's low. The oof, real quick. All right. So who actually has been modeled and edited? is your, your boy Goo. Um, so as you can see, he now has uh, punching and kicking animations for just clicking with your mouse. It's that simple. And you just uh, start punching and kicking. So uh, yeah, he still has his jumping animation. And then for his E, he can, he can punch, stretch punch, which has a lot of range and does a insane amount of damage. Um, I'm gonna actually test it out since we're in a server with a bunch of people so I could show you guys What I'm actually talking about and as you can see when you jump the, um, the whole UFO thing actually moves with you uh, Which is pretty cool because it has to be animated separately same with the punches um, And this move oh yeah, I don't know that was a little sneak peek sorry about that But um, yeah for jumping and stuff. I thought it was pretty cool. So yeah, if you do that one uh, oh, oh, you have to stand like nearby them, not too nearby to actually hit the sponge. Uh, and you have to actually make sure you. Why am I not hitting? Do I need to stand like in front of him? Oh, okay. So when you stand in front of him, well, I don't know what happened there, but um... oh, frick, we missed him. But yeah, it takes actually some skill to hit this ability. Um, if we can find someone, come on. Don't run away from me, right? D don't just run away from me. Come on. That's Waltman. Alright, well, uh, maybe this guy. So yeah, if you stand in front of him, do that real quick. Bang. Oh, it's another goop. Alright, I mean, I guess we... I think we hit goop just then. Yeah, if you hit goop like that, it will do like half its HP, and that's pretty insane, to be honest. So, um... That's a cool ability, uh, but it's pretty hard to hit, so... Good luck with, with hitting the, the ability. Uh, oh, did we hit it? Did we hit him? So, can we, can we hit this guy? I don't know. I'm trying to hit a bunch of people, but it doesn't really work. Frick! I'm not hitting. Uh, oh, there we go. That hit. So, you kind of have to hit from a curve. That's interesting. So anyway, um, that's Goob's regular ability, and then uh, his R ability, if you can see the top right right now where my mouse is, it's actually regenerating. So if you go into this puddle with R, by the way, the punching ability is E or F, uh, they're probably gonna add E or F again to this character, but for now, they uh, didn't do it. But yeah, you can regen if you go uh, in the puddle. But you can't actually walk, so people can attack you, but you are regenning. Not in insane amount, but like if you can hide from your attacker, you can go down in this puddle and you'll be fine. Uh, but actually, has like a pretty cool animation and stuff. I don't know. 
Oh my days, that actually did a lot of damage. Alright, uh, <laughs> this alien X guy is going off. Um, so yeah, that's the regen. Swampfire still has his, um, his regen. But let's actually take a look. Oh, yeah, and Goop dabs as well. That's not the only thing I wanted to show you. Like, Goop has a full, full rework or full animation work, I guess. Um, but yeah, Waltmood actually had something as well. Uh, Waltmood usually, he only had his regular punches. But now, once you press E, you will see all those beams coming at you, which is actually a sense of smell. So, as you know from the show, Waltmood is actually usually blind. So, it would be kind of cool if they made him blind and see in, um, in like heat vision. So, you could see like heat things. Uh, but yeah, the sense of smell actually, you can track people down, like if they're around a corner. Or like, for the for example, if you're behind this building, Pennywise actually, like, yeah, you can see the beams coming through the building. And you actually know that Pennywise is over here. And you can move over. Um, so R does that, and I'm pretty sure F as well. Yeah, so all the abilities do that right now. I think it might add something different to Walton with like wall climbing and stuff. I don't know. That's just my speculation. I don't know. I, I'm just making up abilities. to be. I, I just think that would be kind of cool if you can climb things. Um, and then Ben Wolf actually had the same rework. Uh, he can do that, but he can also have the sense of smell which F uh, F and R do they both do the same thing yeah you can you can smell people and with Ben Wolf it's actually really useful so you can get up a building and then make sure you smell those people and then oh somebody's over there let's go there so I think you can actually do some sick hide and seek games I think it would be kind of cool if they added something like this for Pennywise you can track people down as Pennywise. I, I don't know. I thought it would be cool. Uh, this person wanted to ask me something. What's up? Sure. Hi, dude. By the way. Uh, let's see what this guy has to ask. I don't know. <laughs> Did you play Undertale? No, not yet. Anyway. Um, so yeah, let's actually try and try and kill some people's goop. Or, wait, I think he was the only one. Let's actually check some other characters, I think. Yeah, Frank, uh, Frank Strike doesn't, didn't have any reworks. Um, somebody's trying to attack me, so that's, that's pretty amazing. Ripjaws still has his bite, but other than that, he doesn't do a lot. Um, yeah, it's mainly mainly Goop that had the rework. So yeah, if you wanna play as Goop, feel free. You can actually do some. Oh, it like half his HP again. I don't know why the model is still stuck. So for some reason, all the characters loaded in this uh, in the game I'm in right now, and that's pretty rare. Like if you like, I I've had some issues with loading, and um. The character, uh, the character, what, the developer is aware of this, Sushi Walrus, uh, he, uh, he streams and stuff, I, I talk to him quite frequently, so, um, or quite frequently, I, I talk to him every now and again, and, uh, yeah, he's definitely working on stuff, so guys, if, if you're like, oh, this needs to be reworked, don't worry, he's on it, he, he's aware of the problems and stuff in the game, um, but yeah, if you have anything specific that you think, not a lot of people know what is uh, is bugged in the game. Then be sure to put it in the comment section down below, and I will try to uh, message the developer about it. But we should be fine. By the way, how do you guys like the new green screen? I'm a big fan so far. Um, anyway, I think that is gonna do for this episode. So I would like to thank you guys for watching. Hold up, let's actually go and switch to the outro screen. But before we do that, I want to show you guys OP rewards. It is in the description below. I've done a separate video about this, but with this uh, site, you can actually get free Robux. It's pretty amazing. I use it myself. As you can see, I have currently 117. You can cash out and go to... You start with five. Uh, they, they're restocking from time to time. But usually, they have it up... Uh, every now and again but uh, you can go to earn points and I would do this on a mobile device since you can just download apps and you have to complete certain tasks on those apps to get actual robux it's pretty it's not that hard to do it 
and uh, as you can see you can get certain points like this one gets 800 and stuff um, yeah it's it's that easy you just do whatever they uh, ask you to do on them and you just uh, when you do it you get the points and one point equals one robux so that's like freaking almost 1000 robux for one task so that's insane so be sure to check that out and let's go to the actual live screen right now once again thank you guys for watching be sure to drop a like rating down below subscribe if you are new and i hope to see you all in the next episode whatever that will be so be sure to check out the video to my left and uh, be sure to check out the subscribe button down there somewhere that, yeah down there be sure to check it out video all right i'll see you in the next one bye bye